It was the mission that earned six men the first Medals of Honor more than 160 years ago. Their story inspired books and later TV shows and movies. In April 1862, the group known as Andrews Raiders, 18 Union soldiers and two civilians hijacked a Confederate train in Georgia called the General, deep in enemy territory. Their plan? Drive the General north and destroy the train tracks along the way, cutting off a vital Confederate supply line. At that point, it could have shortened the war, and there could have been hundreds of thousands of young men that would have survived the war. But the daring mission was unsuccessful. The men were forced to abandon the train. Some escaped, but others were captured and executed, including Philip Shadrach and George Wilson. The next year, six of the Raiders became the first men to receive the nation's highest military award. Secretary of War Stanton decided and President Lincoln that these men should be honored with this newly minted medal, the Medal of Honor. To date, 19 of the Raiders have received the medal, but today that number becomes 21, with President Biden set to bestow the award on Shadrach and Wilson. A couple of weeks ago, I got a call from President Biden, and he invited me down to get the medal. Descendants of the two men will be on hand today to honor their sacrifice. You had to really love your country. I just wish everyone could have that feeling and understand what those men gave. We've got to put the past behind and just come forward and, and just be one country. Chandler says Private Wilson's final words at the gallows should be remembered. The Union soldier said, I have good feelings towards the people of the South. Our mission was so the flag could fly over one Union. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington. Hurricane Barrel